this is Black Shy Guy. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna discuss the situation um revolving around Wei Lee's um defeat and the aftermath of her defeat and what people are saying to her on social media. One thing I'm am going to say, hit that like button if you really like the video, subscribe even for any upcoming new videos. I really appreciate it for all those who's been supporting me so far. I really appreciate it. But let's get back to this nonsense that's going on with Wei Lee. I mean, yes, as we can take it here, okay? We can take care, okay? She has cut her hair. This is the problem that's going on right now. She's cut her hair, okay? She's cut her hair. So everybody now is jumping to conclusions already. You know, we got people saying Rose. We got people saying, damn, she gets knocked out by Rose and she cuts her hair. Zales when... <laughs> Stop comparing, and you know we got some, we got some white knights too. You know, stop comparing, which is, which is good. You know what I mean? She trying to be like Rose now. Listen, okay, listen. I'm gonna say this, all right, because it's 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 a known fact. Whaley had crop hair when she started her career. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't even know that to be honest with you. I knew that after I started really liking Wei Lee and I went back to some of her fights and I watched it and I said, wow, <laughs> she in one, of, in one of her fights, she really looked like a boy. I'm not going to lie. I mean, but it was crazy. In one of her um, videos, when she had the crop top, even when she had the crop top, she was dressed and she was so attractive. She was like dressed down. She had the, it was like a, not a skin tight outfit it was just a an outfit that showed her her curves and she was highly attractive so i mean the thing is a lot of people are saying is Whaley losing her mind she's not losing her mind guys she's not losing her mind and i'm not saying this because i know her personally no i'm not saying that i mean we've all been there we've all been there in life situations when you get knocked out or when you lose a girlfriend or when you get a divorce or when you lose your job you, you you do something to reinvent yourself you know what i mean you do something to basically say i'm gonna move on i'm gonna do like a new me sort of sort of stuff i don't know you know what i mean we've all been there man like for so for everybody to be like oh she cut her hair because she wants to look like rose now no She's going back, basically, I'm assuming, to the beginning. When she, when, when, usually when people get the title, you know what I mean? When people get the title, because I heard a lot of people saying this about the outcome of the Rose and Wei Lee fight. They said that she was too overconfident. That the way she, her, her stance and everything, she was just way, way too overconfident. And obviously, we all seen the knockout. You know, she thought Rose was going to go low, but Rose went high, hit her in the head. If Rose would have missed that kick or actually went low, who know the outcome of that fight? You know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying, what if? You know what I mean? So it's like for people to automatically jump and say Whaley is going to uh she's going to some post-traumatic stress because she lost the fight or whatever the case may be. Come on, stop it. Let's not you guys are taking it too far. Let, let's slow down a bit. Let's slow down a bit. Everybody goes through those situations in life. Especially with everything that I just mentioned, you know, breakups, divorce, losing your job. You know what I mean? Um, even losing a very nice collective item. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I, I go crazy when I can't find one of my favorite Funko Pops. And I collect Funko Pops like crazy, man. If I lose my Freddy or if I lose my, my damn freaking Chucky, I'm going to go crazy. So, I mean, Rose lost a title fight, people. Her title fight. A second defense of course she's gonna take it some way you know what i mean but it's gonna show her champion uh, character when she comes back and 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 i believe she shouldn't come back she shouldn't take that first fight against rose she should fight someone else before she fights rose i'm i, I mean if rodriguez wins this fight maybe rodriguez will be looking to fight way lee and then way lee it against Rodriguez, that would be a pretty good fight but i mean different i mean it's gonna be kind of difficult to i don't know i mean it's just whaley needs to fight someone um but mackenzie dern is on the rise up so uh, i don't know you know she just needs to fight someone 
of good talent too before she goes back to Rose because you 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 just need to get loose you know what I mean you need to get loose and I hope they don't put because the way Dana White Dana White um I, he's such a genius because he might put Joanna and Jake Chuck against Wei Lee part you know part two he might do that because he know that's going to get ratings and on top of that he could put Rose against someone else that would be a crazy ass card so it would be like you know what I mean I think I I, I think Whaley shouldn't take the first title shot she gets against Rose especially if it's her first fight after that defeat I, I, I wouldn't take it but that's neither here nor there tell me what you think about all the drama of setting about Whaley tell me if she's do you think she's going through some type of crazy post-traumatic stress because of the loss or do you think it's just natural life reaction after something dramatic happens to you i mean that's what i think and i think she's handling handling it pretty well we all know she's not posting as much in social media maybe she's trying to find an inner dragon in her you never know you know whatever it is man but this is black side guy hit the like button if you like the videos hit the subscribe button for any upcoming new videos i really appreciate the support thanks for sitting at my table i'm out peace